What do you consider the greatest challenge facing the city right now, and what is your long-term ambition for Sheboygan? I was gonna read this more or less, but I have to say something else now. Um, because Mr. Honor, His Honor Bob Ryan has said the real reason we're here is because we're we're calling the recall election is because of his personal action that had to do with his personal life, and I agree. I don't have any hard feelings against him as a person, um, but we need to remember we need to remember something that uh, just because you're just because you're fun to go out to the bar with or whatever doesn't mean that you can do that in every sort of job you have. Every sort of job has limitations to how you can act. This is a public office and he's frankly a liability on the office. We're spending money on his personal actions. So, I, I would say for one, um, if you care about your tax money and you don't want to go into another lawsuit, which has already been um, brought to, to the DA from Fond du Lac, um, sheriff or whatever, you, you can't have someone like that in office, sorry. In my kitchen, I have an old poster with a view from the riverfront that simply states, Sheboygan, believe in it, be part of it. That's from, there's one in the YMCA as well. This is, this is our city, and if we do believe in it and become more integrally a part of it, like other people have set up here, good things are bound to come. We cannot continue to look outside for our source of change. Because no business and no casino and no spaceport on its own will make Sheboygan a thriving place again. We have to be passionate. We have to look inside ourselves and decide what can we do to make Sheboygan a better place to live. What can I do to make my family more comfortable here? That sign really scares me. <laughs> I, I appreciate um, <laughs> Listening and um, vote wisely, please, on January 17th.